everybody, Jay and Mannion here at the MPC Photo Gym with the one and the only... Jay Rowe. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Ronziti, IFBB Bikini Pro. So the, the whole J Row thing is like the first time that I met her and she told me her name and I said, I called her J Row and she's like, what the me? And she's like, That's my friends called me in high school. Like, do, do you know somebody? And I'm like, <laughs> no, it just seemed to fit. Yeah. Just that. Just, that's how we started, right there. Mm -hmm. So, and now you've been up here to the gym. You, you like have a membership, I think, right? <laughs> yep, I have a membership. <laughs> I never come to the gym. It's, oh, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a lot of a lot of uh, interesting connections, like you being a University of Maryland mm -hmm. uh, alumni, mm -hmm. Tyler being a University of Maryland alumni. Good terms. <laughs> yes, right. And uh, no, I mean, <clears throat> so. Now, like you said, this is your third Arnold. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations going into this? Honestly, just to bring my absolute best to the stage. Like, they're, the caliber of competitors are just getting so crazy that, you know, just to be selected to get on the Arnold stage, I am so thankful for. So, you know, hitting the stage, I want to be at my absolute best. It's It's been kind of a hard prep for me, only because I got sick a lot this year. The flu was killer. <laughs> Do you think that's moving back to Baltimore, um, with the weather change and everything? I think it's just, it's been like pretty much everywhere. Okay. Um, I got sick twice, like I got the flu, I got better for like a week, and I was like, yeah, man, you know, I lost a couple days of training. Right. And then I got hit with bronchitis. And oh, jeez. Yeah, so it's it's been it's been definitely like a trying prep, but at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna sit there and say, oh man, I'm sick. I'm just gonna work harder coming into the Arnold. So I'm happy to get on that stage. Yeah, and I mean, on paper, mm -hmm. like you said, you look at the at the athletes that are in there. Uh, like we know now, unfortunately, Ashley Callwasser mm -hmm. had to withdraw for medical reasons. But it's still, it's, it might be one of the most stacked it, Bikini Internationals yeah. in years. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, so you've got, you know, you've got Janet and Angelica who have mm -hmm. previously won it. Uh, you've got Angelica and Issa who are Olympia champions. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got, I mean, a hodgepodge of other competitors that, like yourself that have won numerous contests and, you know, have beaten different other athletes. I mean, I don't think anybody can really say that there's, I don't know if you could say there's a favorite going in. I feel like it's a clean slate. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, we, we know that last year, I mean, Janet won by one point over Issa. They mm -hmm. go to the Olympia and Issa, be, Issa beats her by one point. Mm -hmm. So it's not like there's a big gap with everybody. Mm -hmm. No, it's just going to be, I think it's, even with um, this past year's Olympia, we had this discussion where it's just, it, it's going to be an interesting show to watch. So it's just going to be really cool to be able to be a part of this and step on that stage again and be one of the competitors. That was blessed. Well, I think it's interesting because everyone's talking about how this is one of the most competitive Arnold classics for mm -hmm. the men's bodybuilding. And the fact that the bikini international is paired mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. I mean, Saturday is going to be wild. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I honestly, with all the other divisions that are there, to me, the bikini is the second most talked about. Everybody's looking at all the competitors, mm -hmm. and they're just like, wow, this mm -hmm. is going to be something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you're, you plan on winning, right? That's <laughs> what so you're going there for, right? Come on. Everybody let's... plans to win, JM. Yeah, but a lot of people won't say it out loud. I know. <laughs> I like to stay quiet. You know me. I like to just, like, just stay in the background. I mean, you know, I've done really well at the Arnold before. Um, you know, so it's it's anyone's game, you know, just trying to make the improvements that I needed from the Olympia, bringing a different physique, a little bit more muscle, a little bit tighter, and, you know, cross your fingers that it's something that the judges are going to like. Right. Mm -hmm. and so is there, besides, uh, you know, trying to be a little bit tighter, is there anything different that you're doing? or Just having Pretty fun. Much status quo. It's status quo, but it's just... Having fun, like you can't get so lost in the competition and so like tunnel vision that you forget to have fun. Because if you forget to have fun, you kind of lose like the joy in prep. And then, you know, with all my like posing girls, I tell them, I'm like, you have to have fun on stage. Because if you're just like. So you have to lead by example too. <laughs> yeah. 
Because if you're just flat on stage and you're so worried and so stressed, you're going to carry all of that in your face and it's going to be hard to like shine on stage. So like you want to be able to shine your whole personality when you're out there posing to the judges and enjoy that time that you get there. Well, good. And do you have any other shows that you're thinking of doing after this? Honestly, no. We're going we're gonna to see how the Arnold goes and then game plan from there, but we're definitely going to do shows post-Arnold. See, I, I, like, I like that mm -hmm. idea because, you know, having kids that were athletes, and especially, you know, wrestling, you never want to, you say, you, wanna, you never want to look down the bracket. Mm -hmm. You should be worried about the, what's right in front of you first. Yeah. Because if you don't get past there, and you don't do what you're supposed to do, it doesn't matter what's after that, right? right? And, you know, it, the Arnold is nice because it does set the tone for the rest of the year. So, we Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a big <laughs> reset. I mean, what happened at the Olympia was, mm -hmm. what, five months ago? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. that, truly, I mean, uh, people, it's, and she will tell you, that doesn't mean anything. Mm -mm. Nope. Everything resets at the new year, and, you know, you kind of see what they're looking for. Things change a little bit here and there with the bikini division. It's just, like, little small things, so... You know, if, if you try to I, I actually think, and, you know, I've, I've not said this out loud, really, that I think that the bikini division is going to be a little more clear this year now that we have wellness. Mm -hmm. I think that, the, that the, the standard now for both of these is going to really, I think that the bikini, now people are going to really see what the standard is for bikini. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, some people are like, oh, well, this person and that person. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we now have wellness, which some of these competitors... They're going to do good there. Mm -hmm. And now I think it's going to be more defined. What do you think? No, I absolutely agree because it kind of separates that line between, you know, there's always that how muscular is too muscular for bikini, you know, where's that, where's the line being drawn? And now we, we actually see a clear indication of a physique that is wellness and bikini and we right. can separate those. Yeah. Yes, I think for the, and I've said this, too. I said, I think for the bikini athletes, wellness is going to benefit them. Yes, I think so. You know, because the, I mean, I think, I mean, I know we've only seen a little small taste of wellness, but I think the standard has been pretty well established mm -hmm. pretty quick. It was very, very quick. And yeah. wellness looks amazing. <laughs> for the girls can put on the muscle and oh, it just, I, I could never do it because I don't have the structure for it. But right. It's a, it's a beautiful new division. Good. Now, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to or thanks to? Or, oh, so many. Or that, that person you were trash talking about <laughs> before we went on the air? So, number one, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like somewhere else. Uh, number one, <laughs> Damien Segovia. He is my coach. He's with the pros. He's been my coach for a year now and absolutely adore him. I've loved his direction and what he does with training style, food, everything. So um, that I believe has made a huge difference in my prep. Um, Megafit Meals, they supply me with all my food to make prep super easy. Everything's pre-cooked. Um, Buff Bikinis, she makes my bikinis every year for all of my shows. Pro Tan, all that glitters gems. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel like NASCAR. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm like, I'm like I feel like a, I'm the side of a NASCAR a vehicle. But wait, there's more. <laughs> and then of course All Max, which is my supplement um, sponsor. So um, thank you guys so much for always being with me throughout this whole fitness journey and supporting me. So I'm very thankful for all of them. Oh great, great. And mom and dad. <laughs> always. All right, well, this is J.M. Mannion. Jennifer Ronziti. And we will see you in Columbus. So you can find me on social media on Instagram. My username is jenronfit. And then you can also find me on my website, www.jenronfit.com.